Buongiorno, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages. The Wookiee's back, and he's back with some retro gaming. Back in the 90s, and back with the M64. Right, before I blabber on, I just want to let you all know that my last video is in the description, because I don't think many people saw it, because I uploaded it when the sub boxes were broken as shit. So, just check it out if you haven't seen it already. It's just a bit of fun, poking fun at me, mate, kill it up. I think we all know what this game is. Needs no introduction at all. One of the best, if not the best, for me on the N64. What do you think of the... Well, you can let us know after you've seen it. What do you think of the quality of this? I mean, I'm, I'll tell you what, playing you know, an old console on the HD TV, i tell you what, it looks terrible. But I managed to get... I don't know if anyone knows of these. Well, I didn't know before. I didn't even know they existed, these ones. But an AV, like a SCART cable, like a SCART AV to HDMI converter. It was about, it was about 15 quid. It just means you can basically hook your N64 up using HDMI straight to your telly and it does make the picture because i tried it without and with and it, it does make the picture better slightly it just enhances the colors a bit that's it but i thought it was better so i just left it all hdmi up the controllers of this beast unit one word shit <laughs> they are awful i just thought i'd have that i don't know how we used them back in the day but i wanted to get you know everything how we used to get it that's the night as you know no emulator crap on PC to play old games. I just wanted to get the unit, get the controllers, the games, and let's just go at it, you know. Start enjoying some games again. So I managed to pick one up off eBay. Great condition as well, and it wasn't dear. People, you know, I've seen some extortionate prices already, honestly. But you can pick one up if you'll hunt around. And I got one with a box, and it's in, I can't believe how good condition it is, and I thought... In a few years, that'll be worth a few bob. There's no doubt. You know, I'll get on the real deal. Gaming edition. That's a TV show here in the UK. I just tweaked it a little. You know, and I'll be there with my ho mahogany N64. Box the lot. It'll be worth a fortune. There's no shadow of a doubt. Easily. Right. Feedback time. Don't be shy. Send us your comments. Put your comments down. Whatever if you want. And just let us know you like if you like the video. If you didn't, you know. Something different, I think. <laughs> I know I'm used to editing a bit and that. I mean, I still want to do that, but I just wanted to mix it up. I thought, you know, a bit of playthroughs or something like that. Especially with these old games, you know, back on N64. So, just let us know if you like it or not. And by the way, I've got a new, I've got a new mic. That's why I thought I'd try it. I don't know if it sounds shit or I sound shit. You know, I think I can bore myself. Yeah, it's all right. It wasn't dear or anything. You know, it's, it's like a snowball, but I thought I had to get one because uh, my laptop one is, you know what laptop ones are like. If it's, so I don't know if there's any tips or tricks how to make them sound better. I, I'm, I'm just using Audacity to record, so can't all speak like Apocalypse, can we? Let it all roll off the tongue and tell it like a story like Flaming Gallard, Brummy Cant. No, I'm only joking, mate. 1v1 anytime. Anytime. By the way, did you see them noob moves then at the end? Oh dear. Check this out. It's absolutely, look at it. I got Wario Vonderhard at the end. First to third. Couldn't believe it. Nearly, nearly cried to be honest. <laughs> anyway, farewell and lucky out.